as you know Ralph don't eat chicken so I'm gonna go cook some spinach and some fish curry for him all right start when and get bass for her father trout trout so look at that beautiful man so I'm gonna lime and salt it and I have to do curry so I'm gonna like just do some light curry with, with potato. this not potato because it's not gonna boil you're gonna just do light curry so I'm gonna soak it down it down with some vinegar and salt and lime well how are you gonna put potato with this thing finish cooking this chicken curry and I have to go do this fish curry for my husband so, so what are you doing up your face like that? here we go you're supposed to be smiling <laughs> oh. so I'm gonna add some green seasoning and some parsley some shallot and some onion some black pepper barbecue style black pepper so i'm gonna really burn him up here today <laughs> and um garlic and i'm gonna put some today ralph telling me how to cook he said i'm all seasoning it with some turmeric and some curry powder <laughs> so how do you want me to do this um Ralph explain to these my, um my subscribers how you want me to cook this um curry fish curry what that trout trout <laughs> All right, so you're going to rub the curry into the flesh. Yes, I'm doing that. And the turmeric. But everything is there already. And I'm going to roll it like this. Yes. So I don't want it to... Um, so the flavor stays in it. Yeah, and I don't want the... the it to be mashed up. So the seasoning is into the fish. Then you're gonna take the potato okay. and chunk it with the curry. Cook the potato first okay. with the curry and then put the fish in it. Okay, so just take a um, picture of this. You see this thing here? <laughs> if you only, only provoke me this day, <laughs> I'm going to put this. I saw uh, um, uh, a picture with a bride and groom, right? In Eskibo. And um, I think the next time I'm doing a wedding, I'm going to get one of this. The, um, the bride had it like this. Bye. Bye. You better hold on there and I'll go up. Uh, put this for your head that was such a cute um picture i can't remember who was it that took the picture but shout out to you um but the next time i'm gonna make sure that i get one of this when i have to capture a bride and a groom so look out for that one
I feel like I'm gonna leave some of this for you, girl. Mm-hmm. I need to chip it up and make my season. Look how blending it on. You can make some That's for another day. <laughs> no, you want like, um, feathers, I think you should help me cook this pot. Too many cooks spoil the broth. Oh. And this gives me curry. According to my father, um, when you got a um, good spoon or something, what you say? You don't need to um, thing that. So we're gonna pour some water in. You want some dark um, seasoning inside or no? That's good enough, Ralph? Yes. Not too much. I call it um, the, this kind of garlic because it's put some kind of to like preserve it. Oh, yeah. And I can smell fresh. it like a vinegar or something. Yeah. That type of. I'm going to use. I'm gonna use the same spoon with this chicken so Ralph could have a, um, some gravy. In no, the that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I look at uh, look at that pretty pie. Oh gosh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this, Armani. So we're cooking that down a little bit, let it simmer. It's real simmer. So I'm going to add the potato, because Ralph wants potato in his fish. So I have to cook the potato first and let it cook through, and then I'm going to add the fish. If not, if you put the fish inside, it's going to um, get mashed up. So I don't really want that. Because the potato takes longer uh, to, yeah, cook to cook than the fish. So what I'm going to do is just add my seasoning um i'm gonna put some black pepper because i already put some inside of the fish so i don't want it to be too hot for us and we don't really use too much of salt we just use That's good. seasoning and salt Wow, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is lower the stove. And let it cook in its own water. So I'm going to cover it as you can see through. Water. And I'm going to throw in. Don't put too much gravy. in. I'm gonna leave that it simmer down so it could get soft and cook through before I add my fish. <laughs> okay, the girls, huh? We're gonna go put in the fish now so we could complete our fish curry. Okay. okay. So what I'll do is pull it into the pot. This 
Look at one here, it's a pool right here. So I'm gonna load the stove and just let it cook through. And that's how I would do the fish curry. So ladies, let me know what you think and what you would eat this fish curry with. So today I cook it with roti. So I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer down. But you know what, let me just throw some gravy on top of it. Oh, look at this. Check it there out because you know what? When I cook fish, I can never check it right. So check it and make sure that it finished so we could eat. Ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Finish fresh curry. What are you putting in there? Cilantro, a carne to oma. I think I'm, I'm gonna have some of this too. Lay it right on some more. Then you won't got gravy, Ralph. You don't want some gravy? That's good, check it. I am finished. Let me fish cook too for some more time. Look. I just want to thank you guys for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment I want to thank you from my heart for your continued support uh, friends family clients and every one of you thank you guys for watching